Welcome to the Sudoku tutorial brought to you by Sudoku.com. What is the Y-Wing Technique? The Y-Wing Technique is an advanced Sudoku strategy that helps you identify and eliminate candidates in specific cells. It involves three cells connected in the shape of a Y. By analyzing these cells, you can make deductions and solve Sudoku puzzles more efficiently. Step 1 Before we start, let's familiarize ourselves with the key components of the Y-Wing Technique. Y-wing pattern consists of three different cells that each contain two of three possible candidates. For example, AB, AC, and BC. In this example, we've got three cells that contain the possible candidates A, B, and C. It's important to know that each of these cells can only contain one of the candidates. They cannot contain any digit other than the two candidates shown above. A couple of red lines have been added to show how this pattern gets the name Y-Wing. Note that only one of these cells sees both of the other two. In this case, it's the green cell. Step 2. Now let's understand the logic behind this technique. While the green cell could contain either or B, yellow and blue cells must contain C. It is not possible that neither yellow nor blue cells contain C. This is because of yellow cell contained A and blue contained B, then by the rules of Sudoku, there would be no possible solution to the green cell. Taking this logic a step further, we can then eliminate the digit C from any cell that sees both yellow and blue as we know one of these cells contains C. In this particular example, that means C can be eliminated from the highlighted cell below. Step 3. Now that you know what the Y pattern looks like, let's take a look at how it can solve Sudokus with the example puzzle. In this example, some of the cells have had all their possible candidates pencil marked in. If you look closely, you'll see there's a Y wing in columns 2 and 3 with the candidates 3, 4, and 8. Now that we've identified a Y wing, the next step is to determine which of the three cells has both of the other two. In this case, it's the top cell with the candidates 3 and 8. This means one of the other two cells must contain a 4. Taking this a step further we can now eliminate 4 from any cells that see both of these two cells, the 4, 8 and the 3, 4. Therefore we can eliminate 4 as a possible candidate from the highlighted cell. Now that this cell only contains the candidates 3 and 8, another Y-Wing has formed. Using this newly revealed Y-Wing, we can now able to eliminate the 4 as a candidate from the cell in column 6, row 7. Meaning that we can now resolve this cell as being a 9. Congratulations! You successfully used the Y-Wing technique to make eliminations in this Sudoku puzzle. Continue to use this technique along with others to solve the entire puzzle. To explore more Sudoku puzzles and sharpen your skills, head over to our website sudoku.com.